The fat controller stood on the platform. Percy and Toby watched him anxiously. Here is Daisy, the diesel rail car, who has come to help while Thomas is um, indisposed. Please, sir, will she go when Thomas comes back, sir? That depends. Meanwhile, however long she stays, I hope you will make her welcome and comfortable. Yes, sir. We'll try, sir. Good. Run along now and show her the shed. She will want to rest after her journey. Daisy was hard to please. She shuddered at the engine shed. This is dreadfully smelly. I'm highly sprung, and anything smelly is bad for my swerves. Whatever is that rubbish? The rubbish turned out to be Annie, Clarabelle and Henrietta, who were most offended. We, we were saying here to be insulted. insulted. They fumed. Percy and Toby had to take them away. And spend half the night soothing their hurt feelings. The engines woke next morning, feeling exhausted. Daisy, on the other hand, felt bright and cheerful. <laughs> she tooted as she came out of the yard and back to the station. Look at me, she purred to the waiting passengers. I'm the latest diesel, highly sprung and right up to date. You won't want Thomas's bumpy old Annie and Clarabelle now. The passengers were interested. They climbed in and sat back comfortably, waiting for Daisy to start. Every morning a van is coupled to Thomas's first train. The farmers send their milk to the station and Thomas takes it down to the dairy. Thomas never minds the extra load, but Daisy did. As soon as she saw that the van was to be coupled to her, she stopped purring. Expect me to pull that. Surely you can pull one van. I won't. Percy can do it. He loves messing about with trucks. She began to shudder violently. Nonsense! Come on now, back down. Daisy lurched backwards. She was so cross that she blew a fuse. Told you, she said, and stopped. The shunter, the guard, the station master, and her driver all argued with her. But it was no use. It's fitter's orders, she said. What is it? My fitter's a very nice man. He's interested in my case. He comes every week and examines me carefully. Daisy, he says. Never, never pull. You're highly sprung and pulling is bad for your swerves. So that's how it is, finished Daisy. Stuff and nonsense. I can't understand whatever made the fat controller send us such a feeble... <laughs> Let me start arguing with late already. late already. So they uncoupled the bag, and Daisy purred away, feeling very pleased with herself. That's a good story, she chuckled. I'll do just what work I choose, and no more. 